Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this hospital helicopter featuring Helipad. I think it's worth mentioning that this helicopter is part of a series of tutorials. The first of which is the hospital itself featuring interior and also this pretty cool ambulance. So what I'm saying is that you are more than welcome to make the helicopter itself first, but if you want to check out the car system, the description below and the top of the comment section for more, then you will be able to find tutorials for everything that I've shown you thus far and even more. Plus, I'd really appreciate it if you could like the video, subscribe, make sure that all of the notifications are turned on because that helps me a lot, it really does, and well, that's pretty much it, and if, if you guys don't mind, I've kind of got to have an x-ray because I think I hurt myself when I jumped off the building earlier. <laughs> Let's start the tutorial. This is the amount of space required to make your helicopter. Well, sort of. This is the amount of space required to make a helipad which the helicopter is going to go upon. A 5x7 block area, as represented by the white concrete grid on the ground, feel free to make it if you like, just so that you can correctly place your helicopter if you want to perhaps place the helipad in a different portion of the roof. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make your helicopter. Please to make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. So now that we have all of our materials, we can get started. If you've made the grid come all the way down to the bottom right hand corner of it, Move it in by one and place three grey concrete. This is directly on top of the roof. One, two, three. Sidebar, you can make this in the air as well, of course, and then, well, you don't need any grids or anything. So, from this third block, we want to place five yellow concrete going left of it. One, two, three, four, five. You also want to do the same thing from the very first grey concrete block. One, two, three, four, five. Join the rows of five together in the middle. Simply place grey concrete around the edge of the H that we have created, like this. Fill the center of this in. Boom. Quick, easy helipad. Now, if you wanted to, of course, you can place some slabs around the edge of it. We're probably a bit too close to the edge of the roof itself for us to do this and have it, you know, look look good we'd want to perhaps reposition this but you get the idea nonetheless the next thing that we want to do is actually start the helicopter which is probably what you guys have been wanting this entire time so we are going to place black concrete on the front two yellow concretes that we have at the front of the helicopter we then want to grab our smooth stone slabs join them together Place a row of smooth stone slabs in front. Extend the middle block forwards. Come behind. Place two rows of smooth stone slabs, like this. Then, take the middle block, extend it backwards. Place a black concrete. Two more smooth stone slabs. One, two. And the base of the helicopter will look like this. And you'll be able to see that the helicopter, or at least wheel-wise, is perfectly centered on the helipad. So, now that we've done that, we want to grab our red concrete. We're going to place a red concrete. Where are we going to place a red concrete, ladies and gentlemen? Well, we're going to start by placing one right on the nose of the helicopter. We're going to place upside down, smooth quartz stairs, left and right. We're going to place two rows of red concrete behind the stairs. So that's one and two. One, two. We want to place smooth quartz blocks on top of each of those. We then want to also, we'll join the red concrete together, just the first row though, and then place a row of glass pane in front. Place smooth quartz slabs on top of this, just to kind of give the, uh, give the glass something to grip onto. So we also want to create a doorway. So we've got to leave a gap between everything that we've just made here. And we want to place, as a matter of fact, if you extend these smooth quartz slabs backwards by one, two, three rows, and then join it down with, first of all, a smooth quartz block. And then once you've placed smooth quartz blocks on both sides, red concrete like this, then that's perfect. 
And this is kind of like what the cab of the helicopter, the, the cockpit maybe? I don't quite know what one would call it. I don't know the terminology. I'm not a helicopter pilot. pilot Tologist. So now that we've done that, we're going to come towards the back of the helicopter. We're going to place red concrete along the row of smooth stone and the black concrete that we have. Raise up the last block, extend outwards by two. Place smooth quartz slabs above and below this central red concrete block. Place a smooth quartz slab here. Place in front of this two smooth quartz slabs, aka a quartz block, and then place a quartz block behind, and then a smooth quartz slab. So you kind of want that graduation. Of, it's essentially like a little mini staircase. So the next thing that we are going to do is I think that we're going to extend the cab of this out a little bit because uh, I think it'd look quite good if we like placed upside down smooth quartz stairs like this. And then, I mean, then that, that actually looks quite good. It kind of, it just gives the helicopter a little bit more shape. Now, would it look a little bit better with an extra quartz slab? I don't know. I kind of like it without it. it. Again, it's just for a little bit of shape. I'm quite happy with how that looks. Now, to my knowledge, we have exhausted all of these materials that we have here. So, we are going to grab ourselves... Iron trap doors, white bed, polished down inside stairs, trip wire, hook, redstone torch, lever, piston, button, item frame. So, buttons, first of all, are going to be for the wheels. So, place them on the sides of the black concrete. Item frames are going to be for the front of the helicopter. Helicopters need lights, probably. We're going to place a trip wire hook here. Just above the front wheel, just here on the right, I'm, I'm imagining like, you ever seen on TV or movies or maybe in real life where there's like those, there's like, like to get people into helicopters, like you can like put, it's, it's like a weird bed or something, like on a big giant rope and it kind of like extends up into the helicopter and people can get pulled up. That's what I'm imagining, so the helicopters don't have to land. So I'm going to place a redstone torch above that. And then on the opposite side, I mean, you could even put a tripwire hook on that side too if you wanted to. It's no big deal. And then we are going to place... Oh, we, we have to place the iron sights there. So we're, we're just going to have to replace this part of the helicopter later. But I'm just going to place an iron sight stairs here. Just where the drive would be. The pilot. I'm going to place a bed in here also. So this is also going to be tricky. I might just have to uh, destroy this block as well. I'm going to put a bed in here just because it makes sense. Um, I'll destroy this block as well, <laughs> and I'll place a piston, preferably facing upwards, right? So, like this. No. Yes. Just here, and I'm going to put a lever above that, above the bed. I'm going to have it flip upwards, and this is going to be like where the actual rotor is? The swirly mabob that makes the helicopter, you know, actually gives it the downforce or whatever backtrack is so... You, can, you guys know that I don't know a lot about helicopters, but anyway, these are the blades of the helicopter, and we, we want to place uh, a few of these, so uh, this wants to get extended. Oh, we're going to have to crouch, that's that's the big thing. But anyway, we want to have rows of five in total, so one, two, three, four. I bet I can't place that last one, but maybe I'll be able to from here. I'm a bit far away. Five, and then I bet I'll be able to place more from here then. So one, two, three four, five, and then along the back here, this should be nice and easy, so, one, two, three, whoops, four, five, and then I'll probably have to place, like, it, it would just be simpler, there we go, so, one, two, three, four, five, now, we're not quite done with the iron trap doors, we also want to place them towards the back of the helicopter, like in this position here, and in this position here, just like that. Excellent. And it, it is looking quite good. So all we're missing now, we've got to put the top of the helicopter back on. So that requires a little bit of smooth quartz slabs. And by the way, you might even want to make the top of the blades, like you might want to make that smooth quartz slab. Um, so we've got to fill the top of this in. That's perfect. Oh, we've got to add... To, I, I almost grabbed the smooth quartz box because we've got to just fill the lights in as well. 
And then, last but not least, we are going to make a, a banner to hang on the helicopter. Now, you might be perfectly pleased with this, but I just want to further iterate what this is supposed to be. So I'm going to throw down a loom, crack it open, chuck a white banner in there with some red dye. And I want to have the cross pattern. Not only is it the English flag, but it's kind of just like what I think to be the universal symbol of kind of like, I'm here to help as is kind of on the ambulance, as is kind of on the hospital, and I don't know, I think it just helps a little bit better. It's not... <laughs> the British helicopter, the, the helicopter of England, no, it's, it's, it's for the hospital, so... That is actually the, uh, the helicopter 100% fully complete, ladies and gentlemen. It really does put a nice little finish onto the hospital. Let me clean up this area and let's have a good look. So this is what your helicopter plus helipad will look like once it has been 100% Fully completed, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very, very happy with how this looks. Unfortunately, we can't get too good of a look at this because the top of the hospital is in the way, but I am very, very happy with how this has turned out. If you did want to, you could also add some iron doors on the side, although I don't find that to be necessary. I'm quite happy with it being open. But that's that's the build, ladies and gentlemen, and I do believe that that is the last build in the hospital series where we are only going with two vehicles, although there are a couple more that could be added, but I don't want to include them because I don't think that they're 100% hospital orientated, so... This is it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the hospital series in total. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button. It really helps me in the channel out very much. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing, clicking that little bell next to the subscription button, and making sure to turn on all the notifications. Really, really helps me out. If you're new around here, if you want to make any more city-related builds by me, check out the card system in the description below and the top of the comment section. For more, we have loads and loads and loads and loads of different city builds, including if you haven't made, for some reason, the hospital yet, feel free to check out the card system in the description below and the top of the comment section for all of those builds. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. The city builds playlist is, is probably the place for you. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Good. Hang on, I want to get in the helicopter. Good. Yeah. Wait. Bye. <laughs>